Pan Yoruba Social Political Group, Afeni Fere, has decried President Muhammad Buhari's gloating on infrastructure his administration provided for Nigeria, saying it was another indication that those in the corridors of power do not seem to be in touch with the present reality in the country. President Buhari on Tuesday, February 22, 2022, said people, especially those from the southwest, could have been trekking from Lagos to Ibadan before the intervention of his administration, especially on rail and road projects. Buhari had stated this when he received in audience a delegation from Kaduna State led by the Emir of Zazu, Ahmed Bamali, and the state's deputy governor Hadiza Balarebe at the State House Abuja, acknowledging the primacy of road, rail, and power in the growth of a business or country. The president said that this was why his administration focused on the development of infrastructure pointing to Abuja, Kaduna, and Ibadan Lagos lines. The people from Southwest can tell better because between Lagos and Ibadan by now, if we hadn't done what we did, people would have been trekking because the road was not there, the rail was not there, and there was so much insecurity. Afenefere quoted President Buhari. But Afenefere, while appreciating President Buhari on the resuscitation of Lagos-Ibadan Railway, in a release signed by its spokesperson, Comrade Jare Ajayi, quickly said it was a height of an unpardonable exaggeration to say that without it, people in the South would have been trekking. The pan yoruba group submitted that the number of people using the rail transport was very small, saying it was so small compared with people using the road that not many felt the impact when it was not available. In any case, assuming without conceding that the rail transport is so significant to the life of the people as painted by Mr. President, what about several other routes in the southwest that have no rail system, Afeni Ferris said. So why has the government not provided rail transport in all these areas so that the people would not have to trek and on the road that the president lamented its absence? Whose responsibility is it to provide the road? Is it not the government? It queried. The Pan Yoruba group also decried the outburst of the president at the sixth gas exporting countries forum GECF submit in Doha, Qatar, on the same Tuesday, where Buhari, who was represented by the Minister of State Petroleum Resources, Chief Timi Pri Silva, Minister of State Petroleum Resources, disclosed that. His administration was now embanking on different initiatives, projects, and policies to enhance the performance of the oil and gas sector. The group said Nigerians were hardly impressed by such disclosure, querying, why is the administration just embanking on these initiatives when it has just about 14 months left in office? Afeni Ferrer further queried why the price of petroleum products be all-time high now while the refineries were not working, among others. If the government truly believed in the pivotal roles oil and gas played in the lives and economy of the people, declaring that the reality on ground forced one to doubt the sincerity of Buhari's administration in its policies, visions, and claims. If the government truly believes in the pivotal roles oil and gas play in the lives and economy of the people, why should the prices of these commodities be all-time high now? Why are the refineries not working? Why not license modular refinery operators so that the commodities can be widely available? Afenefere queried. The reality on ground forces one to doubt the sincerity of the administration in its policies, vision, and claims, it declared. Speaking further, Afenefere dismissed the optimism by President Buhari that he would be leaving a legacy for a united, peaceful, and prosperous Nigeria by the time he completes his term of office in 2023, saying, Such also flies in the face of the present reality going by the rate of inflation, rate of unemployment, the level of mistrust, and ethnic clashes, not to talk of the unprecedented insecurity being experienced in various parts of the country now. How can we describe Nigeria as prosperous when 74% of its earnings 
go into debt servicing. The electricity supply is less than six hours in a day. New businesses are not springing up and cost of living is rising daily, the group further queried. According to Afene Ferre, the, the rosy picture being painted by Buhari is very much invisible and hard to believe given the shrinking economy, Kamoto's agriculture, agricultural practice due largely to terrorist activities and in short policies of government, low morale among security agencies and chaotic democratic dispensation in the land. It would be recalled that President Buhari had affirmed his intention to leave a prosperous nation for his successor while speaking at a dinner for the 2022 Committee of Business, Political, Media and Civil Society leaders in Abuja recently. He went further to say that his successor will inherit a strong, repositioned, agriculture-led, diversified, homegrown economy, stable democracy, and revamped armed and security forces. Afenefere, as a pan-Yoruba social political group, they've always um, spoken about President Mohamed Buhari's um, um, government, about his policies and also the things he claims that uh, he's done for nigeria uh what they are telling him right now is that mr man you are not in touch with current reality <laughs> buhari was boasting that um, if not for the construction of the road and the rail that a lot of persons would have been trekking that would have been trekking from lagos to ibadan but for the intervention of his administration and they asked him a question excuse me sir whose responsibility is it to make all of these available Were well, this not part of the things you campaigned with now you are bragging and the brag you are even bragging is not as though you've even made this um this infrastructure you're talking about is all across the country not only certain region it should be everywhere everyone should be benefiting from it they asked him this question and now they pointed out um, other areas that the country is struggling and lacking in the insecurity because buhari also boasted that um, come 2023 he's going to be leaving uh behind a very repositioned, agriculture-led, diversified, homegrown economy, stable democracy, and revamped armed and security forces. All of this looks like a Buhari is just blowing his own trump pants. Because the truth is, if this is the true reality, it's the masses that will be talking about all of this, not him blowing it out. Well, guys, let's say your own thoughts. What Afen Efere just told Buhari, they've told him that he's not in touch with current reality. Leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned and please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. So like come your way again with more updates. Bye.